morning students uh, welcome to today's class i'm going to be taking you english and in this lesson we are going to be uh, looking at monophthongs monophthongs otherwise called uh, pure vowels monophthongs or pure vowels and in this lesson we are going to identify the monophthongs there are 12 of them we identify them we are going to learn how to pronounce each of them and we are going to differentiate each of them with examples welcome to start with let us look at this chart that represents our tongue and our mouth now the labelings at the top of the chart talks about our tongue that is some sounds are pronounced from the front of your tongue some from the middle of your tongue while others are pronounced from the back of your tongue now the labelings to the left of the chart we have close mid and open that talks about your mouth how close your mouth will be when you pronounce that word or how uh, whether your mouth will be in the middle or open wide so the two most important things about pronouncing a vowel is how wide your mouth is and from which part of your tongue the sound is coming out all right the first two examples we are going to be looking at are e and he e and he now i paired all of them so that we can compare them and see the differences to help us to better understand the sounds now the first half of it i mean the, those ones on the left the e the short one look at the mouth positioning compared to the other one the mouth is a little um wider than that of the other one and clearly what makes us differentiate vowel from consonant is actually the positioning of our mouth that differentiates vowel positioning of your mouth that's the most important thing in vowel pronunciation Pos positioning of your mouth so for the first one we have e as in heel e as in heel and we have other examples like pretty myths village women and fetus I'll go over those once again pretty myths village women and fetus for the long one we have the long one we have he as in heel that ladies wear heel you see the picture there then you have beat eve field please and key those are the examples that we have there move to the other examples we have and er we have eh and er um, for eh the mouth is uh, wider than that of er eh and er er is towards the front of your chat is the chat has showed the other time why er is towards the middle so it's more like a middle sound for for eh we have bed the bed that we sleep in and we have bread many leopard says what the last two examples leopard and says for her sometimes i'm like americans rule it say her so her we have bird see the picture there bird serve church work hearth and kernel serve church work earth and kernel so we have all of those ones there those are the example for the long um uh, version of the sand we are looking at some of them are long and short forms some of them are not clearly long and short counterparts but at least as much as possible we can place them side by side and see okay the next one number three we have ah and ah ah and ah for the first um, uh, set we have ha as in cat cat the mouth position in there you can see the pictures for the long one is wider than the short one cat we have mass we have land we have chat and we have plat note the last example plat not plate plat you plat your hair 
So those are the short ones. The, uh, the long counterpart, we have car, as in cart. The one you use at the shopping mall, cart. And you have heart. We have past, clock, laugh. Uh, these are the examples we have there. So we have short ha and long ha, ha and ha, ha and ha, ha and ha, as in cat and cart, cat and cart. So those are the uh, differences there. You can look at the examples that you have there. You can form some of your examples even by yourself to compare and contrast these sounds. So, the mouth positioning I said the other time is very key to getting these sounds right. So, move to another.